How's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here, and today we have one of our excellent channel teachers, Tyler Dugan. He's gonna kind of mix it up a little bit and tell us about a cool budget music video that he actually made for one of his friends. We've talked about budget music videos in the past, but we're gonna dive right back in. I really liked how we put this together. It didn't really cost that much money. I want you in the comments below to tell me about your personal experiences dealing with low music video budgets and how you're able to come through with a really excellent product, maybe using a little bit of creativity. But first, of course, we're gonna talk about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor, and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage, like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. All right, Tyler, the floor is yours. What's up, everybody? My name is Tyler Dugan, and this is a budget music video breakdown. We spent absolutely zero dollars on this music video. We used with what we had and our resources around us. So here we go. I shot this music video for my friends, uh, Ghost Kings. They're a band out of Oregon and literally we had no budget. I really wanna talk about how I shot this because I think how I shot this really played into effect on how I edited it and how it was so easy. So I tackled this in three setups. My first one was the wide with all the band members and I shot that four times. I shot it twice handheld while walking and then I shot it twice handheld while wearing roller skates. While walking, I just wanted to get close up, I just wanted to get cool shots, kind of like details, you know, do some like zoom in and out, swish pans, you know, go with the movement of the band members. And then for the roller skates, I just wanted to get motion and they really wanted kind of this chaotic feel. So I did one, we recorded one song with me going one direction on roller skates, and then recorded again with me going the opposite direction on roller skates. After that, I took away all the band and all their uh, instruments, and we did one by one just silhouetting them. I think we, we locked it down, and I just hit record on the camera. I said, hey, we're just gonna record the whole song. You just, you know, very exaggerate your moves. We did that for each band member. And then I took away everything, and we placed the band member, and then I had the two lights, two in front, one in back, and I had people just switching them on and off. I used, my friend was there, he was a helping hand, my friend Jordan, and the two other band members, I said, hey, just flick those lights on and off, just randomly, it doesn't need to be to the beat of the song or anything. And we did that again for a whole song for each band member, and then that was it. Super quick, super easy, I was really happy with how this turned out. Now, I wanna talk about the lighting a little bit. I wanted to replicate the quasar tubes that you kinda of see in a lot of music videos, but because we were on a budget and I didn't have any money, I didn't want to rent or even buy quasar tubes. So I went to Lowe's and I found those lights. I got each of those lights for $20. Now, I already had these lights before I agreed to do the music video. Um, I was planning to use them for a different music video, so I was able to, you know, recycle those and use them for this one. And I was super happy with those, with how they turned out. Another thing that we did was we used haze. We hazed up the whole uh, airplane hangar to create some atmosphere to really like make those lights kind of like pop. Yeah, it just makes it look way cooler when you add haze atmosphere. And then another thing was on some of those shots, you saw this like really cool lens flare. And that was done from a filter that my friend Jordan, shout out Jordan, brought to the shoot. We just screwed it right on top of my lens and it, it turned out awesome. Actually, I wasn't really planning on using it or maybe only for like one or two shots, but I threw it on there and I just loved the way it looked. I, thought it just looked sick and we went with it on a majority of our shots. So with editing with this music video, it was super simple since I kind of planned, you know, I just want to shoot the whole song all the way through and I just want to do that like multiple times because I knew in editing I would bring that whole that whole clip, sync it up with the song and I just layered them and I went through each 
video, there was only nine, and I just picked out my favorite shots, and then I just cut away from there. Honestly, it was a quick edit. It didn't take me that long at all. I was able to do that because I knew that in mind of shooting it. Like with everything, when it comes to shooting, I think your biggest limitation is your mind. So just get creative, think outside of the box. Don't be scared to fail. The best thing you can do is to fail, but fail forward. So just always keep that in the back of your mind. I mean, going to the shoot, I was like, I was a little nervous. It was the first music video I shot by myself. I had my friend there helping me. The band was super cool, super fun. And you know, just have fun and don't be scared to fail and make sure to fail forward. So yeah, Josh, back to you. Tyler, thanks so much for sharing your expertise. I'm sure this video is gonna to speak to so many people. Hope all is well down there in San Diego. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.